Hello and welcome to the Maths Doctor. In this video we're looking at how to find the formula for the area of a trapezium. So here you can see we have a trapezium and a trapezium is basically a four-sided shape so it's a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. And in this case the parallel sides we've labeled A is that top one and B is the bottom one. Now the only other letter that we use is H that is the perpendicular height. Now it's not the sloped height, it has to be the perpendicular height of the trapezium. Now just imagine that we were able to slice our trapezium in half. So we're going to cut it in half with a pair of scissors along that line there. Now we're also going to do something else. We're going to put a little hinge at that point there. So just imagine we can flip this whole top half of our trapezium that we've just sliced along this line and we're going to flip it, rotate it on this hinge, on this center of rotation if you like. So we can do that by moving this slider and there you go, we're just flipping our top half of our trapezium all the way around until thud, it hits the bottom and now we actually have a a parallelogram. So if you just look what happened to um, length A at the top there, so here's our length A, it's actually now moving all the way to the bottom down here. Just watch where length A goes, so it's actually going all the way to the bottom, so I'm going to move it down here. Now, next I'm going to take this little bit at the end away, and I'm going to move it all the way to the other end, and it's going to slot perfectly in place there. So now we actually have a rectangle. We can still see where our top half of the trapezium has fallen into, but basically we have a rectangle with the length is A at B and our new height is half of H. So we can put half of H there and everyone knows how to find the area the area of a rectangle, it's just length times width. So the area of a, of a trapezium is half H times by A plus B. Fantastic. So if you found this video of value, you may show your appreciation by clicking the donate link from my website and donate any amount that you feel reflects the help that you have received. So, I hope you enjoyed that. See you soon.